A New House for Mouse by Peter Horacek One day, a little mouse looked out of the tiny hole where she lived and saw a huge apple. Goodness me, said little mouse. I would like that apple to eat. I must bring it inside. But although she tried and tried, she couldn't pull the apple through the tiny hole. My little house is too small, said little mouse. Perhaps I should look for a bigger one. So off she said. Looking for a new house makes you hungry, said little mouse, as she took a few bites of the juicy apple. Then she spotted a hole that was just a little bigger than hers. This looks just right, she said as she peered inside. Hello, Mole, she said. I need a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I live here with you? Um, I'm sorry, mumbled Mole. But, but my home is too full of books and I don't think there's room for both of us. Perhaps not, said Little Mouse. I'll keep looking. As she wondered, Little Mouse felt hungry. I'll just have a nibble, she said to herself. Then she spotted a hole that was just a little bigger than Mole's. That will be perfect, she said. She peered inside. Hello, Rabbit, she said. I'm looking for a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I live here with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, twittered Rabbit. But my home is it, too full of cabbages and I, 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 I don't think there's room for both of us. Perhaps not, said Little Mouse. She set off again, but she was still hungry. So she nibbled on the apple as she went. Then she spotted another hole that was just a little bit bigger than rabbits. That'll be just right, she said. She peered inside. Hello, Badger, she said. I'm looking for a bigger house for me and my apple. Can I come and live with you? Oh, I'm sorry, barked Badger. But I stretched out on my cushions all day, snoring a lot. And I don't think there is room for both of us. Perhaps not, said Little Mouse, feeling rather weary and still hungry. That evening, she came across an enormous hole. This must be big enough for me and my apple, she thought. Hello, is anybody there? She shouted. Hello, little mouse, growled a huge bear. Why don't you come and live here with me? No, no, no thank you, squeaked little mouse. I think the cave is a bit too small for you and me uh, uh, and my apple. And off she ran. Little mouse was tired now, but pulling the apple seemed easier. Suddenly, she saw a tiny hole. That looks perfect, she squeaked. I wonder who lives here? She peered inside. There was no one at home. Little Mouse went right in and pulled her apple behind her. It fitted perfectly. I knew I would find somewhere just right for both me and my apple she said, and she climbed into her own bed and fell fast asleep. The end. Pela Pela Nganzong